Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will be discussing Bark, the incredible open source text to speech model developed by Suno. With Bark, you can create realistic speech in various languages as well as other audio like music and sound effects. It even allows you to generate non verbal sounds like laughter and crying. In this video, we will explore how to use Bark and its feature. Let's dive in. Uh, we can find the entire details on this uh, GitHub repo. Uh, if you come little down, uh, you'll find we have example, model card, and playground waitlist. Uh, if you are interested in joining their waitlist, you know, uh, please go ahead and join. Uh, you'll get an access to studio where you can try new things. So I've filled out already the forms. You can do that too. Uh, we have these examples here. Uh, uh, so it is hosted on uh, a Notion. So if you go ahead and click on this, you'll be able to see, you know, what kind of uh, audio you'll be able to generate it. So let's just hear it for this one. The, the model is called Bark, like Clifford the Big Red Dog, or, um, or Bark as in tree bark. So you could see here, right, you will be able to use uh, um, those kind of sounds uh, by using this kind of text here. So this is uh, really different from other text to audio uh, tools which we have seen earlier. Uh, here you can get the sad, uh, you know, uh, tone as well uh, by using this sad in a bracket. So let's go ahead and play this one. My friend's bakery burned down last night. Now his business is toast. Though the tone is sad, uh, it was really funny. So let's go ahead and try something else. So uh, as of now, it uh, supports multiple languages. So uh, we have Chinese, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, and so on. So that's great. Uh, we'll go ahead and read a few more things here. So using this is really simple. We have uh, demos available at two places, one at Hugging Space and another at Collab. I would suggest to use Collab because I was using it and it works really better, you know, compared to hugging face because a lot of people are using it you know and you always have to wait a lot of time to uh, get your audio okay so i'll we'll have a look at both of them uh, and this is the code which you have to use it uh, we already have a notebook so we will go ahead and see those uh, there are few things here which we can see uh, you, you can save this file as well uh, by using this code if you are generating any audio so let's ahead and see so the best thing about here is uh, if you use this kind of symbol it creates a you know music effect so let's go ahead and listen to this audio in the jungle the mighty jungle the lion barks tonight this is awesome i mean we have not seen any text to audio tools which works this way this is one of its kind uh let's go ahead and listen to this one i have a silky smooth voice and today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. And we have this en speaker underscore one where you can, you know, uh, change the language en fr or anything. And you can change the code from one, two, three, four, five, and you'll be able to generate different kind of uh, sound effects. So let's go ahead and try this one. So here you can, you know, uh, by using woman and man, you'll be able to generate uh, Audio effect like this. So let's go. I this. would like an oat milk latte, please. Wow, that's expensive. This is awesome, right? So let's go ahead and try this on Hugging Face and Collab now. To access it in Collab, just click on this Collab link. Uh, it will take you to uh, Google Collab's research notebook. Here you'll find three sections. Actually, first is install, second is basic, and third is example. In install, you'll just find that they are uh, importing and installing the uh, GitHub code. And then they are using Torch Reason and Torch Audio. That's it. And apart from that, uh, as I was talking about that, you know, it's very simple. Uh, you will just uh, import the code and sample audio rate. And you will reload the models here. And then we will start generating audio. And generating audio is very simple. You will use this text prompt and this triple quote and your prompt here. And then audio array, generate audio. You will pass the text prompt. And from that, you will generate audio using this audio array and rate equal to sample rate, right? To start this, you just have to go select on runtime and click on restart and run all, okay? Once this is done, click on yes. Yeah. So let's wait here. Uh, once the installation is done, it will take around five to six minutes. Uh, in meanwhile, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the uh, Hugging Face implementation. So same here, uh, to access Hugging Face space, you'll just click on this link. It will take you over here. Uh, 
the interface is very simple here. Uh, you will provide your prompt, whatever you want to uh, generate audio. And then you have a predefined, you know, a speaker. As I was talking about, right, we have a speaker English and a different kind of uh, languages. So you have a speaker 1, DE, German, and Spanish, and French. So let's go ahead and select speaker 2, EN. And my prompt here is, hello, my name is Suno, and, uh, and I like pizza. Then we have laugh here. But I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. Okay, let's go ahead and submit this. So you'll see here that uh, you have a queue here, three by three, and it will take around 101 second. Uh, it may take more than that. And if you want to skip that queue, you can go ahead and duplicate this. But it's not that easy uh, because you'll need uh, you know powerful uh, system. That's why we are using Collab. So let's wait for a few seconds. Once the audio is generated, we will look at the output. So the audio is ready. Let's uh, hear it. Hello, my name is Cyrano, and uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> But I also have um, other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. So you saw, right, how we can use it on Hugging Face. It does take some time, uh, so we'll not be using it much more. So let's go ahead and cancel this out. So our system is up and running in Collab. Let's go ahead and check it out. So you'll see here, uh, it does take a lot of RAM. Uh, so it, by default in Collab, you get around 15 GB of GPU. It is using 5.5. Uh, 8.5 GB of RAM and some disk space. So that's fine. We'll just go ahead and close this one. And uh, by default, it has, you know, we had some uh, examples uh, which it has generated. So we'll go ahead and listen to those. Buenos dias, Miguel. Tu colega piensa que tu alemán es extremadamente malo. But I suppose your English isn't terrible. So this is one of the example we have. Uh, another one here is the one which uh, we heard earlier. So let's go ahead and listen to this one. Hello, my name is Suno, and uh, and I like pizza, <laughs> but I also have other interests such as uh, playing tic-tac-toe. So that's great. Uh, if you want, you can just go ahead and download it from here. Okay. So so we, we want to generate our own prompt, right? So what we'll do is uh, we can just go ahead and update this one, or you can just copy and paste it in another block cell, okay? So let's go ahead and change this one. So I want to test that music effect here. So I've generated a random song here underneath the starry sky. We dance until the mor morning light. Okay. So let's go ahead and play this cell once again. So it's ready. Uh, let's go ahead and hear it. Underneath the starry sky, we dance until the morning. This is awesome. I, I really like it. So I'll just go ahead and change the speaker here. I'll go with EN speaker zero and replay this cell once more. Uh, so let's let it generate another uh, audio for this. So we have the results here. Uh, I did change it to EN speaker six because EN speaker zero wasn't uh, that great. It was just like, you know, reading prompt. So let's hear to this one. Underneath the starry sky. We dance until the morning light. So this is really awesome. Uh, you can just go ahead and download this one and you can use it in your video if you want to. I am currently working on uh, one of that project where, you know, I'm creating a video out of uh, Gen 2, uh, Runway Gen 2, Text 2 or uh, Text 2 video. And I'm going to use the audio from this. I'll just show you the small clip what I'm working on. A new day dawns, full of possibilities and adventure. The journey may be challenging, but the rewards are worth it. The view from the top is breathtaking. As night falls, I find comfort in the warmth of the fire. The night sky is a canvas of wonder, reminding us of our place in the universe. That's all for today, guys. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Share with your friends. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how you can create AI generated videos using Bark and Gen2. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.